Good morning, everybody. So today I had to rush over here to the office this morning because we do have a 10 o'clock um, of pre-walk with a client, which is actually a home orientation on a home that uh, we just completed. But I'll show you what I'm doing here. So right here, when you do a home inspection, even on a brand new home, what I like to do is get the home home inspection report, print out the home inspection report. Then what I'll do is. I will go ahead and put a binder together. Let me just show you guys from the beginning how cool this tool is. Okay, so if you wanna become a real estate agent, right? You wanna keep it more professional. These are the tools that you can actually buy. These are the tools that I do use. Let me show you. So what this is right here, you put this little spring in, you cock this back right here. It pulls these little teeth back. And I bought these clear pieces of plastic paper. And so this is my front of the cover. And this is the back of the binder here. So what I did was, after you punch the holes, you will add this on there just like that. All right, give me just a second, let me put these ones back on here. All right. So now, I'll take a couple of these and make sure you print them color on both sides. Oh, matter of fact, I should have showed you how I did this here. Let's try this again. I'm going to take a couple of these. Now, you can't take too many of these and jam them up. What I noticed, if you take like more than like, I'm going to say like 20 of these, and you put it right in here, what happens is when you push down on the teeth, right? Make sure this is leveled right that. Push down. There you go. When you pull it back up, it's going to be very hard to pull up all the paper. There we go, look at that. Oh, it's too early in the morning for this. Here we go. Then you take this binder here, the back piece, you insert it just like this, push this thing back, and voila. That's how it works, I mean, take a look at this. Look how professional this really looks. And what's great about this is that, again, during your home orientation, you're gonna use this as a guideline, right? as you are meeting with the sales rep or the customer care rep, you can go through this list, hey, uh, there's something wrong here, I want this fixed, make sure you get this fixed. And if they don't really understand what you're talking about, you can use, just use the home inspection report as a reference. Well, according to the home inspector, it says this blah, blah, blah right here. So according to the Nevada Contractors Board, right, which is this company uses their guidelines, then you can use this as a reference. So this is the best tool that you can have as far as ammo when it comes to your home orientation against the builder. All right, so now we are in a rush. We're gonna head off to the walkthrough. Hey Robin, have a good day. I will get those boxes, I promise. <laughs> I got some, uh, mailers that was sent on over to me but haven't had a chance to get them off of uh robin's desk how rude of me the uh, cool thing is that uh this channel is growing so fast and uh, we are meeting new people new developers contractors best thing ever and it's all because of you guys and if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel not too sure what you're waiting for subscribe to the channel So I'm up here in the uh, north side of town. These uh, townhomes here by uh, Lennar. Really great townhomes. So crazy thing about it is, just closed on this one, about to close on this one, and we're about to close on this one. Three neighbors all together from YouTube. 
So in back of me, all this blue tape that you see here all on the walls and all the kitchen, these are uh, just indicators as far as uh, touch up paint. And there's gonna be some drywall areas that need to be done, but this is actually normal. So when you see stuff like this, don't be scared, but this is a good opportunity for you when you do your home orientation, just to make sure that you get everything done. All right, so we just got done with this uh, walkthrough. Now I gotta head over to Summerlin Woodside Homes. We are doing a electrical run. Uh, we're gonna pick some electricals for some clients. So uh, let's get going. Well, I uh, am up here in Summerlin, Crystal Canyon by Woodside Homes. Homes here are single story, the two story homes. And they start off at what, 1600 square feet all the way up to 2400 square feet. So what I'm gonna do is meet a client up here. We're about to go through the electrical, like I said. Sorry I'm, sorry I'm late, guys. But, but here's the good news. I made it on time for 11 o'clock on my time. <laughs> and I actually made a mistake for the temples here. We had a 10 o'clock appointment, <laughs> right. but on my schedule, I put it for 11 o'clock, so. she said the 11th, and that's what. I know, and that's where the confusion was. So look, I made a mistake, and I apologize. You guys forgive me? <laughs> So, okay. <laughs> so what we're going through right now is we're walking through the whole process to figure out where we're going to put um, cameras. So again, we're going to put one there. We're going to put one here because of the door here. But now that's two cameras, right? Yes. But now let's talk about the front side because your home has so many angles here. You can't yes. see what's going on. You don't really need this part right here unless if you guys want want it or not we're only going to do like four or five cameras and we want to make sure we have it in the right locations because we have this casita here then we have this here i probably put one up there so that way you get all this right here and you can see what's going oh, on oh somebody's okay. got me yes then you can see, see somebody's somebody trying to go on here correct oh, so that's good. that's three cameras already so you don't really need it in the front unless if you want an extra one, then I would do it. The then we can change the angle of the camera anyway. Okay. So that's not so a big that's deal. Three. All right, let's figure out this other camera angle. So you got a couple of things that you can do. You can get one going this way, right? If you wanted to. Where do you put it? You would actually put it up here on this corner. Oh, okay. Okay. But my main focus would be here, this entry point. Mm -hmm. So I would probably request it to put there. So that way we can cover this and cover that. Okay. Oh, that's good. See, that's, yeah. we didn't even think about that. The guy, the guy just said pre wire, but he didn't say what, where. Yeah, pre wire. We're, we're going to have light switches on both sides of the bed. Ooh. What do you think? That's perfect. Yeah. So, this so, is going to be the switch to turn off the four can it's lights, right? Four right. feet from here to like almost where your hand ends. Right. And then. Um, and over there. And over there, too. We're going to do the two lights in here because we've got two showers. Yeah. Okay. We're going to do the two lights. What about the lights in here? We'll get the two lights here. Okay. And this here, we're going to have this here. We'll have a light in here. Perfect. Oh, we're going to have two lights over here. Normally what I do is I pre-wire and I have them put the fluorescent light. In the middle? In the middle, so it's like one big one. Oh, you yeah. know what? Um, so that way... I don't want to remember all that. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Wait. This is the only reason why you really need a realtor that specializes in new homes so that way they can literally walk you through the whole process when it comes to high and low voltage because and there's a lot of things that consumers don't think about, right? And That's how true. am I supposed to remember all that? Hire your realtor. That's right. Hire your realtor. Oh, you look good. Look at that. Is that a girl or a voice? I don't even know. That's Las what? Vegas, California closets. Yeah, see Las Vegas. Okay. Well, no, 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 no. Here's the thing, you need to contact Pat right away. Okay. Let me explain why. Uh, why? Yes, please. Because if we're gonna do custom closets in here, are you putting any type of lights inside the closet, like LED lights? I like that. We're thinking about it. If we're thinking about it, we need to, you need to call Pat right okay. away. Well, she Here's come why. Right so yeah, she will, she'll meet you here. Here's the reason why is because if we're doing LED lights, we need some sort of electrical outlet here. So we have to tell these people. Then we have oh, to tell them, write so write that down. Oh. So now we gotta call Pat. See, I wish you were here. Well, that's no, why I came here. Uh, uh, yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Look, uh, I did come here. 11 o'clock, like no, I no, promised. you did, you did. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that was my Better fault. Better late than never. That's right. Yeah. Um, Can you say that again? <laughs> overwhelming. What's overwhelming? Uh, all this. The... I mean, having to go through the process of, uh, come, let's pick up your outlets, where you want your lights. I mean, yeah. that, that's. It is. It's but that you know what? It's okay. Yes. Oh. We're going to get this thing done. Yes. 
All right, let's go uh, take a look at the casita real quick. Yes. Now, what are we doing on the casita? And the casita, I'm going to burn mash except the two switches. It already comes with the switches. No, no, but we're going to have the one that you... Oh, can... for the bed? Yes. yes. Here, one to turn on and off and whatever. Make it, make the people that come Who's to stay? visit, you know, this, enjoy that This space. is where I'll be staying. <laughs> this will boom, be your, boom. Your room. This is going to be your room where we go out of the country. I'll watch you, it, okay. You and your yeah, you wife. Can, you can babysit. Okay. Man, I love this family. This, this couple, the temples, good people. Good people. Now we're out of here. I'm getting kind of hungry. You know what that means. All right, so we just got back to the office. I got about an hour. I got a bunch of things I gotta catch up on real quick. Fridays are such a crazy day. Then I gotta scoot on out to home inspection, back out to summer end. Alright, what's up everybody? So now I am back here in Summerlin once again, Stonebridge, the name of the village. And we are going to be looking at this Woodside Homes. We went in the contract or we went under contract on this home probably about a week ago. But now uh, we're going to meet up with Ben. Uh, they are doing a home inspection uh, with this home. We're going to see what's going on with it. Alright, let's go. great about this home you do have a casita right here all right let's go inside ben you still here hey, what's up there he is let's we'll say what's up to youtube what's up youtube tell me how was everything good i i, I don't know what to tell you to fix oh dang <laughs> dang i love those type of home inspections and you know what's funny is like uh, it's good or it's hella bad 5,236 square feet, four bedrooms four and a half five and a half bathrooms in summerland asking price two million dollars uh, one of the things I did here, which I do on the brand new homes too, is I have a meter to check the window glass for low E. And that's a reflective coating you may be familiar that reflects the heat back to the outside. Uh, especially on the patio doors, they have a habit sometimes of flipping them around. So what they'll do is they'll draw the heat in instead of reflecting the heat back out. Um, so it's correct. It's been a while since I uh, gone to the gym, but I think it's been probably about two weeks now. Every day on a consistent basis, um, hitting the gym and uh, starting to get back in rhythm, which is a good thing. But man, whoo, cardio is the way to go. If y'all like my fanny pack, I'll get you one. Today is a very special day that I want to share with you guys. <laughs> Guess what day it is? Guess whose birthday is it? It's my birthday. It's my birthday. I love you, babe. Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, we got a surprise for Jessica. She doesn't know what the surprise is. She got a new car. Yeah. Psych, we didn't get a new car. <laughs> if you guys want to know where we're at, we're at Town Square. Just right off of Las Vegas Boulevard. You know where we're going? You have an idea where we're going back? It's real. Real. Rio. Oh, you're talking about this place? Yeah. Oh, you know what? <laughs> That's where we're going. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> we just talked about it. Yes, that's where we're going, babe. Is it good? Yeah, it is good. <laughs> I try to make it a surprise, but that's where we're going. But you're already, you're already eating there, right, babe? Yeah, you'd be in here too. No, I haven't eaten here. Yes, you have. We can oh, I have? Vanessa's birthday. So we just got done. Unfortunately, we couldn't film because it was too dark in there. Yeah. But did you have a good time, babe? Yes, that was like the best birthday surprise ever. Oh, that's good. I love you. Give me a kiss. All right, guys. Have a good night. <laughs>